Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Friday and welcome to Friday Favorites and Flops. I hope you guys all had a really good week. I have had a really good week. I have spent this whole week just kind of um, doing my own thing, which has been really nice. I actually don't have a wedding tomorrow on Saturday, so this is like an off week for me. And that's rare during the summer. Um, but it was kind of nice. It just worked out that I had this weekend off, which meant this whole week I could kind of do the things that I wanted to do. So actually today, probably while some of you guys are watching this, I am going to get a haircut. So I'm going to trim this little mop here up again because I just can't, I can't grow it out. I thought I was going to grow it out until October. It's not going to happen. Um, I just don't have the patience for it and it's really nice to be able to put it up into a ponytail right now and have it stay there when I go to the gym but I just I don't want to wear a ponytail all the time and it's just annoying me at this stage and yeah every time I look in the mirror I'm like what is ha what is happening so I'm gonna go get it cut um but yeah, I have, uh, I have stuff to share with you guys. I'm hoping that I don't come across as too spastic or discombobulated because I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I am currently doing the Isogenics system. Don't worry, I, I'm not selling it. <laughs> I am not gonna be, I'm not going to be selling it. Um, I do have a friend who has done Isogenics and the past and got really good results from it and um so I'm giving it a go and I am on my first like cleanse period cleanse day well I'm doing two cleanse days today's the first one and it's it's a little bit weird it's very different for me um I will be doing a, another like health journey update at the end of this month where I'll talk a little bit more about it um, I won't be done with my 30 day system at that point. I'll be done in like the second full week of August, but I'm going to do like a full review on the experience. Um, so far it's actually been really good, but I'm not going to lie. The cleanse days are a little bit tough. So, um, it makes me feel a little bit spastic and discombobulated to not have like actual food that I'm eating if that makes sense we'll talk about it when we get there but anyway I'll do I'll I'll share all the information with you guys um but yeah anyway let's get into my favorites for the week there are as usual lots of things to talk about I'm gonna start with something that is really delicious <laughs> and being that I'm so hungry right now it was really hard to use this in the shower this morning because man does it smell like delicious bananas and I would kind of kill for a banana right now. This is the Body Shop um, Wonderfully Wonky Banana uh, Shower Cream. So uh, I used to love, oh I loved it, the uh, banana shampoo and conditioner from the Body Shop. Uh, I mean I was buying that stuff like in the 90s. Oh it was so good. Um, super super banana. And the thing is though, the banana shampoo and conditioner were not a great fit for my hair because they're pretty heavy, um, but they just smelled so good that I would periodically buy them and then like it would weigh my hair down and I'd be like, ugh, my hair doesn't look good, but it smells good. Meh. Um, but now they have that same banana scent in this banana shower cream and oh, it's good you guys. Oh man, it has that same amazing banana scent. Oh, it's so good. It is a slightly like candied banana scent. Um, this is a really nice shower cream, you guys. It does foam up just a little bit. I've been using this this week just to like shave my legs and it makes a great like shave, I don't, I don't know, cream, gel, whatever. It does foam slightly, like I said. It's great for shaving your legs is what I'm trying to say. So I bought this at Ulta. I will link everything that I'm sharing 
down below in the description box so you know where to find it. Um, so I bought this at Ulta this past week and have just fallen in love with it. And before it goes away, because I do think this is limited edition from what I remember, before it goes away, I'm going to grab just a couple more to be able to have on hand because it's nice. And I'm really enjoying shaving my legs with this. So if you liked that old school body shop banana shampoo and conditioner smell, but you can't really use the actual shampoo and conditioner because you have hair like mine, which means you have like 10 strands of hair and everything weighs those 10 strands down. Um, if you're looking for the smell, you can find it here. Speaking of my 10 strands of hair, um, it's been a living proof week for me. Okay, so I actually bought this a long time ago and never really started using it. Like I used it a few times and I like I liked it, but I was like, oh, I should finish some of these other things and then just forgot about it. This is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. So this is something that I put in my hair before blow drying it, and then I will put a mousse in as well. Today I use the Color Proof Volumizing Mousse. Um, great combination. And then I, uh, this is, it's, it's so good. Um, I guess I should tell you guys what it does. So it helps to create a little bit of volume. It helps with like flyaways, frizzies, um, helps to kind of smooth your hair, but smoothing it without weighing it down. Um, it's supposed to condition, strengthen, and polish the hair. It does a few things. Basically, it just kind of protects your hair when you're styling it and provides a little bit more oomph to it. It's just good stuff. And I also really like the smell of this Living Proof stuff. The smell's really appealing to me. It's, it almost has like a kefir lime type scent. Um, it's lovely. I really enjoy this. Uh, if you've never tried it, I would definitely recommend it. And then for <laughs> during the week, cause I dropped Stella off at her summer camp at like she wants to get there at like 7.30 in the morning. So I have been sleeping in a little bit more this summer since she is out of school. And so I just wake up at seven. I kind of roll out of bed. I put on some clothes. I splash water on my face and I brush my teeth. And then I do run some of this stuff through her hair because I do have to go into the building to drop her off because like you have to use like code and stuff to check her in. Um, but my hair is gross in the morning. It's so gross because I have really oily everything from here up. So oily hair as well. And my hair just looks gross in the morning. And I do not want to walk in with all these other moms. I live in an area where I swear women just like do it up. Like before they go out anywhere, <laughs> like hair done, makeup, if not done, like just a very like polished look. A lot of them are also like going to work. So they're going to work in like an office setting. So they're dressed really nice. And here I am with like greasy hair and like a moo moo. <laughs> because I wear those Old Navy swing dresses just to like drop her off in the morning. But anyway, this helps to soak up that excess oil and then I just put my hair up in a ponytail and it looks, I look a little bit more put together with this. It works really well at absorbing the excess oil in your hair and this is just, it's their just dry shampoo. I think there's only one kind. Um, works really well. Um, definitely eliminates the oil. This is also supposed to help with sweat and odor. So if you are a gym goer um, and you don't wash your hair every single day, give this a try. It has, it definitely has a stronger, like again, that kind of kefir lime type scent to it. Um, but I, I do see where this would probably absorb some of that like sweat odor. So you could probably get away with totally not washing your hair and using this and still smelling really good, but good stuff. Living proof. They've got some good stuff. A um, little bit more expensive, but I think totally worth splurging on, at least for me. Um, this is uh, the perfume that I've been, oh man, I'm almost halfway through this already. That makes me sad. Um, this is the perfume that I've been loving this week. I really like this one. Anytime that Craig has actually smelled this on me, he has been like, what are you wearing? That smells good. <laughs> this is the Tokyo Milk um, number two, um, Le Petit. This has notes of lily, peony, vanilla bean, and violet petals. Obviously with it containing any amount of vanilla, it was gonna be like a favorite of mine. This is lovely, you guys. It is lightweight. It's, um, there is a touch of floral to it for sure, but it's softened quite a bit by the vanilla bean in here. Um, 
This is very pretty, very feminine without being like overpowering. It's not like one of those like Miss Dior or like super crazy strong florals um, like Stella, Stella McCartney. Um, it's, it's lighter, but it's really pretty. And this one lasts a really long time on me. I get wafts of this throughout the day. In fact, this isn't one that I necessarily have to reapply. I also just like the packaging of it. It's very like pretty and simple, but yeah, I like it. I will totally repurchase this. This is some good stuff. All right, let's do a skincare item. Uh, I did a video on, was it, it was probably Monday. Um, the Andalou Naturals Canacel Detox Mask was featured in that video. It was my summer mask recommendations. If you missed that video, I will link it down below. There's a funny part where Penny um, basically just craps behind me in the corner here. Um, is she in here? No, she's not, okay. It is what she does. She's still not potty trained. She is like seven months, right? She's, I think she's 25 weeks, seven months. Oh my God, she's getting old. She's getting big too. Um, but anyway, she's the worst, <laughs> but we love her. Um, but this mask was in there because it's really great for summertime and it's affordable. It's from Andalou Naturals. So it's, uh, it's a drugstore product. Smells good. Um, doesn't smell like cannabis. You don't have to worry about getting high from this. It's got CBD in it. Um, but it just does a really good job of helping to get out some excess oil without like drying your skin in any kind of way. This is good stuff. If you've never tried it, I would definitely encourage you to try it. They also have a brightening one. I'll link this one and the like brightening one in case that's what you're looking for. But Andalou Naturals, everything I've ever tried from them has been really good. Um, they also have a pumpkin en enzyme mask that I need to pick up again. If you've never tried that, highly highly recommend that one i will link that one down below as well this is good stuff all right i've been trying to use some of my other powder foundations this week because you guys know that i'm super loyal to the laura geller balance and brighton but i do have some other um, powder foundations in my alex uh nine drawer here that i just kind of forego because the laura geller is just so easy for me and it just looks so pretty on my skin however i I do like my other powder foundations. I just need to use them. So this week I have been using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation in the shade Fair Light Neutral. So this one is specifically for fair to light skin tones with yellow and pink undertones. Um, so this works for me. I feel like it's a pretty good match. It's probably honestly a better color match for me than the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten and Fair, but what are you gonna do? Um, this is that interesting packaging where it has, and let me just get that down off of there, where it has the netting. So I like to just use a fluffy brush. This, this is a great powder foundation brush if you're looking for a cheap drugstore alternative. This is from Milani, it's their powder bronzer brush. Works pretty well. It's not gonna give you crazy full coverage, but if you want fuller coverage, just get a sponge. This one's from Real Techniques. I'll also link this guy down below. Um, you just press that in here and you get some on there and then you could, I don't wanna put any more on my skin, but here, let's do this. You can just like tap that into your skin and it provides like some additional coverage. Like if you have some redness around your nose or something like that, um, that's actually pretty good coverage. Like that definitely covers up some of that blue from the veining on the tops of my hands. Um, but yeah, this is good stuff. It, it does last really nicely throughout the day. Let me wipe that off because I'm gonna get that all over my little dress here that I'm wearing today. It lasts pretty much all day. The only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't give me that same slight glow that the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten does. There's just something that that powder foundation does in terms of making my skin look really youthful and healthy. This is a little bit more matte looking. So if you are someone who likes a more matte foundation or you are looking for a finishing powder for the summertime to go with your liquid foundation to provide a little bit more coverage, check this out because it, that Amazonian clay really does a good job of holding back that excess oil um, without looking cakey on your skin. I mean, I'm wearing it right now and I, I, re I really like the way that my skin looks. Um, I think it's, this is good stuff. 
blush this week. I've mostly been using this. Um, this is nothing new. Um, I've been using this for the last little bit here. It's the Air Blush in Lines and Last Night from Marc Jacobs. It's beautiful. I've even been like running my brush across to get a more glowy look. So there's like a highlighter portion. That's what this end mostly is. And then the blush is right there. So I've just been blending those two shades together to get this really pretty um, peachy blush. Look at that. That's such a pretty color. It's here. You can see it on my face. Um, uh, this is just such a pretty peachy glow to my skin and peach blushes during the summer. I love them. During the rest of the year, you guys know I'm all about like mauves and plums, but during the summer, peach is just my jam and that's mostly what I have in my everyday makeup drawer. Uh, lips, eyes, lips, eyes, lips. Okay, these are amazing. I, if you're in the market, <laughs> you're willing to blow the cash on them. The Charlotte Tilbury like newest lipsticks that came out are, oh good, first off, this one here is the Pillow Talk. I don't remember what this is called, but it's, it's the exact same shade as the Pillow Talk in the matte formula, but this is a, um, it's a like creamier, shinier formula. It gives your lips, um, uh, not, it's not quite as harsh looking as the matte, if that makes sense. It's just softer and prettier. It provides a little bit of shine, um, super comfortable. Um, actually this is like almost like a moisturizing balm, but there's a lot of color payoff to this. Like that's what I have on my lips right now is Pillow Talk in this formulation. So good. Um, this will hands down be a repurchase for me. And then, um, let me roll this up. Still love the matte too, um, but that, that new formulation is wonderful. And this, ooh, I love this. Um, I haven't really, really seen that many people talking about this particular color. Some people are loving the other shades in this new range that she came out with, but this is her, like, I think they're called the Hot Lips. Does that say on here? Why can I never remember what anything is called? I'll link it. This is the color JK Magic. It is a, um, neutral peachy, actually pinky peach nude. That's what I would call this. So I'm going to give you guys a swatch of this. So beautiful. There's quite a bit of pink in this, but this also pulls a little bit peach on me for sure when I get it on my lips, which is great because it ties in with all of my peach blushes. This is so pretty. It's creamy. It's moisturizing. And I love, I love these containers. I don't know. I think there's something to be said about the packaging of certain makeup products. I've always liked lipsticks that come in beautiful packaging. Um, a couple weeks ago, I was watching this video from Lisa Eldridge. It's actually, I think, from a little while ago, but she had bought this lipstick um, case, and there was a little bit of the lipstick left from, uh, I think it was Audrey Hepburn, and um, it was like from her collection. I, she spent like, 30,000 or something insane on this lipstick. But um, she was talking about how beautiful the case was. It was from Cartier. It was specifically gifted to Audrey Hepburn. And um, anyway, I just kind of, I agreed very much with her about like just having like something very special and pretty. And these Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks in this collection I think are very pretty. They're, even if you just get one for yourself to either put in your purse or leave out on your vanity, I think it's nice to kind of spoil yourself with certain things. Obviously you shouldn't spoil yourself with everything because nobody needs all the things, but I think these are very pretty. There's my sales pitch, but there's other lipsticks that you can buy that have a very similar color, so. But it's a good formula, I like it. All right, eyes this week, I've been using these two. So I totally like, I keep pulling things out of my drawer. I was gonna keep it super basic this month with my eyeshadows and I only had like a couple of palettes that I originally pulled out, but I get bored pretty quickly. So I, I keep grabbing new ones. So this week I've been using the Too Faced um, Natural Matte Eyeshadow Palette, which is the one Too Faced eyeshadow palette that remains in my collection because it's really good. It's no longer packaged like this, but um, the new packaging is 
it looks a little bit nicer. Um, I have said that I don't really want to like support a lot of Too Faced stuff anymore, but I haven't entirely written them off, but I'm not, it's just not a go-to brand for me anymore. This, however, is the one palette of theirs that has survived every single declutter that I've done in the last couple years because it's just that good. The formula of these particular shadows are wonderful and um, it's just great for like everyday natural looks. These are obviously all mattes. Um, Part of what I have on my eyes today and then I've also still been loving this this is such a great palette it's the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Subliminal Platinum Bronze Palette um, I've just been using um, a bunch of these shades as lid shades this week um, so for example I have this one on my lid today this is, the formula is fantastic she's she makes a good eyeshadow formula for sure I think it's splurge worthy um, you would obviously have to decide that for yourself because I want to say these are like $55, $58, something like that, but there's a lot of eyeshadow in here. It's a great formula. Looks great. Wears all day. Doesn't, like, rain down onto my cheeks when I'm applying it. Not a lot of fallout. Good stuff. I like it. Okay, and that's what I have for you guys today. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. <laughs> um, my Ebates $100 um, Visa gift card giveaway is still going on, so I'll put the information down below if you haven't entered yet. Um, and I hope you guys have a really great weekend. I do have some videos already recorded for this weekend featuring Bath & Body Works Fall Home Fragrance stuff, so if you're interested in that, that is what is coming up for this weekend. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch again, and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye!